thing you say. Do you remember the beginning of this conversation where the greatest fear is fear of the unknown? If uh, it's dark and foggy, and all the lights are off and we're outside, mm -hmm. uh, so that wouldn't matter if the lights were off. Uh, and, and I'm like, hey guys, come this way. And I start running, and I run into the dark fog, and I disappear. You're like, whoa, slow down. I'm not running into that. Uh, but if I say, hey, 30 feet away, there's this thing, and we're going to jump in, it's going to be awesome. Uh, tub of jello. Um, oh. Then, uh, then I think you'll probably be more inclined to come with me. So when you... No. Give, no. When, <laughs> what uh, kind of jello? What flavor? Yeah, Is there like shredded carrots in it? No. You go ahead. No. Because <laughs> um, I hold on to the iron rod for this. I'll switch to we're on an episode. <laughs> if, you're, if you're talking about... Well, that's a good point, too. I mean, you might turn people off by, by what you're about to say, but you, you're either going to turn some people off because they don't like your topic, or you're going to turn everybody off because they don't have time to figure out what your topic yeah, is. Yeah, your choices are no one, or, or sorry, your choices are some or everyone. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to turn some or everyone off. Which would you rather? Interview with Jack's mannequin. Okay. Because who, I mean, I know Thriving Ivory was big here. Mm-hmm. So people might know Thriving Ivory a little yeah, bit Yeah, Jack's better. Mannequin is definitely bigger than Thriving Ivory. Quite a bit bigger. Uh, as far as, like, ticket sales and... Uh, genitalia size? Genitalia size. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put that in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Say that like I you say that like like we're like <laughs> like we're serious. <laughs> Seriously. You can't talk I, about the I junk. Can't do that. I'm surprised you didn't know. You I idiot. Put that in there. Why would you even bring it up? Exactly. So that would run. What yeah. about uh, Cottonmouth the Kings? Do you have any interest? So how obnoxious is it when you get like your your friends in the car <laughs> and you want the door to be unlocked and you keep doing this? Hurry. Unlock that! <laughs> so, he's on an important business call and I have to wake I am being quiet! Okay, bye. So they could come back to us. We were just talking about how it would be funny if uh, we just reference ourselves being on The Amazing Race for like the next five years. Come on, I'm, I'm vlogging! Here, we're here to get some cheeseburgers. Ah, oh, it's delicious. Are you nervous? Yeah. Hi. Hi. You love me? I love you. You are hot. <laughs> oh, this is your boyfriend. <laughs> He's going to beat me up. He's my boss. This girl deserves a raise. Yeah. yeah. Look, at, look at that. She, she just radiates hard working. You're my favorite. You're my favorite DJ. Thank you. You're welcome. Awesome. Can I have borrow five dollars? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's your name? My name's Marky. Marky, everybody. Thank you. Okay, so I'm uh, leaving the studios. I had a uh, meeting this morning. I showed you guys a little bit of the meeting. We have ratings coming up for the uh, radio station. So that's the time where you have to do your very best. Because the better rating uh, that your radio station gets, more money everybody gets, everybody keeps their jobs and so forth. So I tracked my show tonight and I'm off for the rest of the day and I love it. It's so nice to be done with work by like four o'clock in the afternoon and I have to get off at 10.30 at night. Anyway, so I have a really quick question for you guys about karma and I want you to think, if you know what karma is, it's like you do something good and the universe or God or somebody will kind of come back around and bless you with good. So here's a situation that just happened to me. I was driving out of the parking lot of the studio and one of the cars had their emergency lights on. Like the emergency lights were flashing. And I'm like, why are there emergency lights on? But I was already out on the road and it's like, I thought to myself, that would probably be good karma if I went back in the studios and said, hey, uh, whoever's car is that your emergency lights are on? And maybe there was a reason for it, or maybe they just got turned on for some reason. But then I'm like, I don't want to. I'm like already on the road. I'm already going down the road. And so I'm thinking, crap, am I going to get bad karma now? So what I did is I called one of the other DJs in the studio. And I said, hey, the person that has the maroon SUV, the, uh, the flashers are on. The emergency lights are on. Will you find out who it was? 
And he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 go, I'll go find out in a minute. So I'm thinking, what if that person doesn't? Because it didn't sound like they were really going to go find the person. And so I'm thinking, is that bad karma still on me? Or was I able to pass it off? You know what I'm saying? Like the responsibility is now on them to go tell the person. So did I do a good enough job of, of trying to help out or did I not give it 100% and so I still get half of the bad karma if that person's battery dies? Does that make sense? Do you guys understand what I'm saying? It makes sense in my mind. Anyways, comment below. What do you think? Am I going to get half good karma or half bad karma or is it just canceling it out? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so smart. This is a smart conversation. I should be a doctor or like a, a hot air balloon pilot. One, two, three. We can do it better than that. Here we go. One, two, spinning daughter of death. And that's how you put your kids to bed. Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>